day everyone and welcome back to my channel for another flight review and today I will be flying from Doha to Bangkok in Qatar Airways A380 first class. Flight QR836 will depart Doha early in the morning and arrive in Bangkok in the afternoon for a flight time of 6 hours and 30 minutes. As I was connecting from Malay, I couldn't show you the Qatar Airways Premium Check-in Facility here in Hamad Airport. So it was clear the transfer security and now proceeding my way to find the Al Safa First Class Lounge, which is being the talk of the town on how beautiful the whole lounge really is. So I'm really looking forward for it. But before that, Ooh, what we got here. This is, has been the trademark of Doha Airport, which is this yellow teddy bear. Based on Skytrack's latest ranking, Hamad Airport has been named the world's best airport, but I somehow think that Singapore Changi is still the world's best airport. So what do you guys think? Comment down below.
let's have a look at the dining and beverage menu. So the extensive menu offers both international and Arabic infused cuisines. Well, having this much of options, I didn't even know where or what to start. So simply put, Qatar Al Safa just blew every other airline's first class launch out of the water. But the level of service, well, it didn't quite match to the whole grandeur of this place. Well, I gotta say that Al Safa launch is definitely the most beautiful launch I've ever been. <laughs> Doha to Bangkok in Qatar Airways A380 first class.
As we're about to touch down in Bangkok, let's give this flight a concluding thought. First, let's talk about the hard products. When it comes to cabin design, Kata simply just gets it. Although not as bling as you might find in Emirates or Etihad. Well, there's no denying that the design elements, the color choices, and the cabin finishes are elegantly executed and simply an understated luxury. As for the seat, it's really not a competitive product per se, especially in terms of privacy, as compared to what being offered by other leading airlines in first class, of which you could have a whole suite complete with door. Let's talk about the in-flight service. The service, well, it wasn't in any way bad, but it seems that the crew were more reserved and timid in a sense that they're kind of afraid to show their own personality and I would say that the level of personalization was rather weak on this flight for example, I was served by at least 4 to 5 different crew members throughout the flight furthermore, I wasn't consistently being addressed by my name throughout the interaction which is a huge miss in first class I do think the factor that sets first and business class apart is the level of personalization, which was rather underwhelming experience with Qatar. Let's move on to the dining offering. When it comes to dining quality, presentation, and plating, Qatar wins, hands down. But taste-wise, well, it was kind of just good without being spectacular. And in terms of varieties, Emirates first class catering is still a win for me. All in all, this is far from any reach of being the world's best first class. Comparing the three of the Middle Eastern Airlines first class, Qatar, in my opinion, is the weakest. Well, the problem with Qatar is that the business class, the Q suites, is already too good, and suffice to say that it's better for you to book Qatar Q suites rather than first class. Plus, there's so little to differentiate between first and business class other than having access to the Al Safa lounge. But for the novelty of flying in first class, which is exclusively offered on the A380, you are still in for a treat. Welcome to Bangkok. 